paper and they will need um, some scissors and they will need a, a work surface. Now, it, in a minute, um, Reza is going to um, play a video of a gentleman. Um, he, he looks like he might be a minister from, from a Church of England. So he's, he's wearing a dog collar. And he's going to talk us through a way that we can share our faith with other people, but also thinking about Easter and what Easter is all about. And sometimes we haven't necessarily got the words to speak to people um, or we're a bit shy or we just can't, we haven't got the theology. Maybe we haven't we can't just put it there. But, you know, it, there might be a situation where just folding a bit of paper will give us the confidence to actually share with our children, um, you know, with our friends, just, uh, you know, it's, it's like a party trick really, but it's, it's a focus on what Easter is all about. Now, if it's, if it goes too quick for you this morning, I haven't got it on, you know, I've saved it and um, I'll put it out there, you know, so people maybe in the week can have a practice, another practice at home, but it's just a means, if you like, um, you know, in a, two, three, four minutes just to be able to share um, what Easter is all about. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Don't get frustrated. I, I don't want screwed up bits of paper thrown at your screens, okay, if you can't keep up with him. Um, but take him what he says. And then, as I say, I will supply um, the, the video um, later on. And then people maybe um, can have a practice a bit later. So over to this gentleman. I don't, I don't even know what his name is. Um, and he's going to talk you through how you share um, the Easter story just with a piece of A4 paper and a pair of scissors. In telling the Easter story using this. Can you tell the Easter story using only a blank sheet of A4 paper? I think you can, and I'm going to show you right now. Cut. So you will need one sheet of A4, one pair of scissors, and perhaps one adult, uh, if you're a young, young person and you shouldn't be using scissors on your own. I am not young. So, we take our blank sheet of A4 paper, we take this corner, we're going to fold it over to here, not down to the bottom corner, but so we make a beautiful triangle here and the sides match up. We have made ourselves a semi-detached house. Now we turn it into a detached house by taking this corner and taking it to that corner. Thus. Ooh. Now we have our detached bungalow. Now we're going to fold it over. This is a bit like making a paper aeroplane. We fold it in half, like so. Now, if you were making a paper aeroplane, you would now take these bits on either side and put them down as the wings. We're going to put the wings on one side. So literally, we're folding this in half again. Can you see? I've got both bits, and I'm going to line them up like this fold it press it down nice and hard believe it or not we're almost done now this is the extremely dangerous bit where you take your scissors it's not really extremely dangerous uh, and you cut down the middle like so here we go Ooh, we're getting there And there you have it, the Easter story. But Matt, you say that looks rubbish and silly and there's just a bunch of paper. Yes, that's right. It's also wrong because this bunch of paper will tell us the story. So let's carefully gather the bits and bobs. You need every single bit. Now, the first thing you need is this, which is the cross on which Jesus was crucified. Then we've got some other bits here. Just take them all apart. Of course, Jesus was crucified with two other people, one at his right, 
So I'm going to put the one on his, his left first. One on his left. So if you see, you've got a small L and a big L that you turn upside down. So we've got our three crosses. Then, of course, there was a sign put above his head. It said, King of the Jews. Then, of course, when he died, a soldier plunged a spear into his side to check that he was dead. Also, they cast lots over the robe he was wearing. So these last two bits are the dice that they used. So what is the point of this? Why did Jesus die on the cross? Well, he died so that we would have something very special indeed. And we're going to rearrange these things to make a word that sums that up. So, we have an L. We have an I. We have an F. We have an E. I'm going to make that better actually. Let's fold that in half. It looks smarter. Pop that under there. The meaning of Easter, the meaning of Jesus's death and his resurrection is that we might have life and life in abundance. So see if you can do this for yourself at home and may God uh, uh, bless and protect you. Have a lovely Easter and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.